So I was talking to a friend of mine on the phone, and uh, he said, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. And he was talking about the fact that I just recently bought silver and uh, made oh, a good amount of money. And I've been telling you all to buy silver, gold, platinum, because uh, inflation is here, people. And if you don't own precious metals, you're hidden for a world of hurt. Uh, but I, I, I thought about that statement, and I thought, you know what, that's not necessarily true. You know, because think about it, you know, bird in the hand. What is a bird in the hand? Well, that could be a house. Well, real estate's devaluing right now. So if you have a bird in the hand and your bird in the hand is real estate, uh, you're hurting right now, right? Uh, if your bird in the hand is, um, who knows, uh, if it's farmland. But boy, I tell you, your diesel fuels are prices are going way up <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> so that's your bird in the hand and uh and, and boy i tell you god knows i i worship the farmers i mean i i can't believe the world of hurt that they're going to go through and all of us are going to go through because when they hurt we're going to hurt and uh you know and i i made a video recently about the fact that we just called the uh, 1.2 million chickens. I mean, you know, so yeah, you, you, your prices are going sky high. So, but I wanted to talk about some of these other stupid sayings that people tell you. And I tell you what, now, you know, and that's, that's a problem. That's why I can't get along with people. You know, I have a hard time being around people because, you know, they say these stupid things and you just like, you're the most ignorant person on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so my, and that's why I'm divorced now, right? That's why I'm living alone. But uh, yeah, let's say count your blessings. Well, of course you're going to count your blessings. You know, my God, I fell down a set of stairs. I broke my damn neck, and uh, you know, I'm I'm still in the recovery mode. I've been shot at. I've been in 26, 28 car accidents. I've been shot at. I've been stabbed. I've had, uh, let's see, 18 surgeries. Do you think I don't count my blessings every day? Yeah. So when you say count your blessings, I just want to smack you up beside the head and say, well, what blessings have you had? And everybody says, well, you got a guardian angel, Kirk. I, you know, you're like, can't kill the rooster or whatever that song is. You know, rooster. I, I just love that song. But yeah, so for some reason, God keeps me around. I, I don't know why. Uh, I'm not the greatest human being, but I, I try to, to do right by everybody. Be grateful for what you have. Well, of course, you know, I mean, but at the same time, I mean, you know, I, I look at me. I, I came back to Florida finally after breaking my neck and my, my wife had divorced me and stole a bunch of stuff out of the house. <laughs> you know? so, so yeah, I had a lot less when I got back here to Florida. But uh, yeah, I'm very grateful for what I have. So I mean, where, how can you dispute that? Uh, that? That job, that bad job is better than being unemployed. No, no, I disagree with that statement. Uh, now, have I worked some damn bad jobs? Yes, I have. Now, when you talk about a bad job, I'm not talking about, you know, if you're cleaning bathrooms, which I've done uh, in parts of my life, um, that's not a bad job. You know, that's just honest work. Okay, if, if you're out collecting trash and uh, that's, that's your job, uh, that's honest work. That's not a bad job. When I talk about a bad job is when you're serving bad people. OK, uh, if you're if you're if if your boss is a real prick, son of a gun, and you realize that your company's doing evil, such as dumping oil down a, a sewer drain, uh, you know, and you know what, you're destroying the environment or something like that. That's a bad job. No, no. Doing good, honest work is not a bad job. So that job is better than being unemployed. That depends. And that's what I say. That's what I'm saying with that statement. It depends. As long as you're doing a good, honest work, there's no bad job, in my mind. I could have gotten better if I waited. Well, uh, yes and no. Oh, look at me. I, uh, I tried to buy a stock here recently, and, uh, well, I mean, it, they wouldn't let me buy it because the system is rigged. So I tried to put a penny buy on a 22-cent stock, uh, it, and they said, well, it's, it's, it's a penny stock and we're not going to let you put a market buy on it. And so then I had to check all these damn boxes through. And this is through Fidelity. I'm going to call them out. They're 
freaking pricks. And uh, and so I, you know, I checked all the boxes. I said, yeah, of course, I'm, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to buy, you know, what if they think I'm going to spend thousands of dollars on a penny stock? No, I was just trying to buy a thousand shares of a 22 cent stock. You know, what, 200 and some dollars? I mean, you know, that, that, that's a piece of furniture or something in your house. Who gives a damn? So anyway, so I put a limit. I, the only thing I do is put a limit buy on it. Guess what? It doubled the next day. I could have made a fortune. And, uh, and that's because that's the system is rigged. It's rigged. If I, if I was a millionaire, I, they, you think they would have stopped me for putting a market buy on that stock? Hell no. And that's, that's so could have gotten better if I waited. No, hell no. Uh, sometimes true. Sometimes not. Uh, this is this is a good one, and I, I like this one because uh, this goes back to Jesus. Um, so Falcon provides food while birds offer a one-time meal. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Jesus taught people to fish rather than just giving them a fish. So that's what the Democrats want to do. The Democrats want to give you the fish, but not teach you how to fish. Okay, or, or you know, and back in the day, you know, you had a falcon, and he would go out and, and provide you a meal, and multiple times, right? So yeah, and so th these are the things you kind of got to look for, and these these old statements they make a hell of a lot of sense sometimes, don't they? So when in life you're not looking to the government to give you a hand out, but a hand up. Okay, do you understand that? So a hand up is getting an education. A hand up is learning to garden, learning to, to grow your own food, learning to fish, right? Learning to uh, fly a falcon and, and bring home birds so that you can eat, learning to filter water, learning anything. It's not about, you know, getting that hand out and then just going to the grocery store and buying food. Okay, food stamps are the worst thing that ever happened in this country. Food stamps should be uh, predicated on people being educated on how to grow their own food, right? So, I mean, all communities, in my mind, should have a public garden where everybody has to go in and learn. Well, it doesn't have to. I'm not, I don't want to force anybody to do anything. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in the free state of Florida. You're free to do whatever you want. If you want to, you're free to bankrupt yourself for all I care. But I mean, the freedom comes from the ability to provide for yourself. And that's what we should be teaching people how to do. And that's the thing that pisses me off about the Democrats. All they want to do is give people a handout and not a hand up. So if you want to vote Democrat this election, that's what this video is all about. I'm trying to teach you the difference. Now, are the Republicans any better? Oh, hell no. Most of them are pretty bad. But we got some good, uh, good candidates. Uh, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Well, I, I would assume... That you know that's not true. Uh, let's just just take AOC as an example. You know, she thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side of the fence, and so I want to make a prediction here. Okay, her her little grass run where she's been uh, held out by the media, and she's done, and she might continue. I mean, they they, but that I think that gravy train's coming to an end. A lot of the mainstream media is going down. CNN, their ratings are way down. Um, you know, she's been out there and, and what did she do wrong? Well, she ran on, I'm going to, I'm going to re represent the Bronx and the Bronx is, I mean, these, these are some brutal people. I, I tell you what, I, I would love to go up to New York and meet the Republican candidate. Cause I saw that woman. I tell you what she is, she's a firebrand. And uh, I really hope I, in fact, I am going to make a trip up there uh, and I want to meet her if she wins. I'm Well, and I say if she wins, even if she doesn't win, I'd like to meet her. She was something else. And she just said, you know, AOC, you know, because she AOC came in and basically the uh, the mainstream media and a lot of uh, uh, Democrat money got her elected. Well, we'll see. I mean, if she wins, what can I say about the Bronx? They're a bunch of stupid people. I don't think they are. I think these are down-to-earth people that are going to elect the right person. And uh, if they do, I'm going to make a promise. I'm going to go up and I want to interview this woman for my channel and meet her uh, because I saw her. And, man, I tell you what, she is just a wonderful human being. And sh if she actually goes to Congress, <laughs> look out! 
Joe Biden. <laughs> or look out, Brandon, baby. Look out, Brandon. Peace out, stay free. And it's good, good, good to live in the free state of Florida. But I just kind of wanted to throw that out. I mean, these are things, you know, you can't be stupid in life. And uh, so if you got a $3,000 check on something that you knew was worth 10000 if you cash this check, you're basically saying, okay, I'm going to accept your, uh, your payment. I don't think so. Should have paid me the appraised value and just been done with it.